Hi, today is January 31st, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 167 for the year, MoMA Membership Card. They give me a different MoMA membership card each year, and after many years, my favorite one is still the one with the still from La, Le Voyage dans la Lune by Georges Méliès on the front. I look at that shit and smile at it all the time when I'm in my office, which is where I have kept it since it expired years ago. You might know the image. Instead of a moon hitting your eye like a big pizza pie, in Le Voyage dans la Lune, a rocket hits the eye of the moon like a big cock. It's like that toast when you're with old friends and you say, here's cock in your eye, or here's cum in your eye, or something like that. I don't remember the toast. I haven't had a drink in almost 35 years. If I make it to the end of March, I will celebrate, but not with a cock in the eye. Maybe I will go to MoMA to celebrate. I still have a membership. So what if the membership card isn't as good as the one I used to have? It doesn't affect my enjoyment of MoMA. Poem number 168, Sidehead. They called him by the name of Sidehead. He had cockiness and pride, and he always had his noggin tilted over to one side. Wasn't nothing wrong with him, wasn't angry or bereft. He just would always have his noggin tilted over to the left. Yesterday, someone slapped old Sidehead on the left side of his face. His noggin moved rightward a moment, then snapped right back into place. Sidehead left town when that happened. Hard to say if he'll be missed. If you see him, do not slap him. It won't help, and he'll be pissed. Poem number 169, Humming. Can you hear that constant humming? Does it mean something is coming? Maybe something truly great, or a reminder not to be late. Something scary, something ominous, something dependent or autonomous, something fucked up or something shit. Or am I just imagining it? Poem number 170, Widow. I suppose if I wanted to date somebody who is maybe less likely to dump me, I could go with a widow. A widow is someone who, by definition, stayed with her spouse until the end, till death did they part. That's commitment. But of course, there's always, there always is that possibility with any widow that she killed the last guy. That is technically till death do us part but not really what I'm hoping for. And last poem of the day, and the last poem of the month, poem number 171, Goodbye January. January, you've had your ups and downs, but it's been a much better January than December was. I'm glad I didn't realize how bad December was back in December. If I had, I would have been miserable. I wonder if February will be so great that it'll make you look like a piece of shit, January. I guess that would be good. But now that you're almost done, I have good feelings about you, January. I appreciate you, and I expect I will continue to, unless February really kicks ass. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you. See you next month.